Well, in two years, we continue to thrive financially. Uh, we have contracts in place with our teachers. We have contracts in place with our administrators and our support staff. Uh, our enrollment is, is, is going up. We are now at 3280, uh, which, is, which is very, very good. We have no schools on the priority list for uh, having concerns with academics. Uh, or, or not early warning signals that, that some schools are, are, are finding themselves in. Uh, so we have a lot to be uh, proud of, a lot that, that we've accomplished. And actually we have purchased the, uh, the, the former uh, charter school, the Academy of International Studies on Hanley Street. Uh, last night the Hamtramck Board of Education uh, chose a name for it. Uh, the name is Talbeta. Talbeta is an organization that goes back all the way, I think 1914, a group of, of, of well-to-do uh, ladies from Gross Point came to Hamtramck, established a community center for the immigrants to come here and learn English, to learn medical skills, cooking, sewing, uh, doctors, uh, the, the, everything you can imagine that will help uh, uh, the new arriving immigrants at that time. So the, the, the whole point of choosing this name is that it's a welcoming place for immigrants and new arrivals. Yeah, we could not open in September simply because uh, uh, there were some environmental concerns, the testing wasn't completed, that we wanted to make sure that were addressed before we move in. And we, we're not gonna uh, you know, have any sort of question regarding testing, whether it's uh, uh, asbestos or, or anything uh, in place, vapors or anything there, so it's safe. And the standards have changed. The testing that, 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 that came back was incomplete. Some would say, that, well, there might be something to be taken care of. So before we put people in that building, kids and staff, we wanted to make sure it, it, it is safe and it is 100% safe. We had 150 students that were at the Academy of International Studies that are now in Hamtramck Public Schools. Uh, so you're missing we, about 100? Because she had about 200. To 70 to 60? Yeah, we're missing about 100. Okay. Uh, those students get first choice to come back to their home. Uh, I feel very, very strongly that that was their school. It was taken away from them. It belongs to the, to the neighborhood, and, and they get first choice to come back there. And I think many of them want to, want to come back. There may be some that are now used to their, the, you know, the school that they're at, the teacher they have, and they stay, and that's okay. But I'm very excited to go to the, to the families that were there last school year and say, come on back, the school is open for business for your child. I guess the answer is yes. Uh, I mean, there's money involved and, and, and space and so on, and, and I don't know uh, if, if there is one or not. Uh, I mean, there are rumors out there, but I have absolutely no, uh, nothing concrete or anything like that. But uh, we are here to serve the community and to meet the needs of the community. And if there's a, a charter school in, in Hamtramck that uh, may not be here in September of 2018, uh, we will do everything we can to provide an education for those students. There might be, drugs are everywhere. Uh, there, I'm, I'm sure there's drugs in Hamtramck. Uh, there, there's drugs throughout the nation. Uh, Hamtramck is a drug-free coalition, which I'm a member of. Uh, we want to help uh, students, families, or anyone that has any sort of problem with drugs. But to think that you know Hamtramck is an island that does not have drug issues, uh, or, or students that, that are fighting that 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 evil. Uh, that, that'd be uh, um, naive to think that's the case. We had an issue several years back of students smoking uh, cigarettes in the bathroom. Uh, we have stopped that, we've eliminated that. What's well, an ongoing, we wanna earn the, 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 the respect of the community of the parents. And that goes with, with, with quality teaching, quality administrators, and good test scores. Uh, we did very well on the uh, SAT last year. Uh, the, the score surpassed uh, many of the surrounding high schools, which, uh, which sends a message, because the, 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 the bottom line is student achievement. If students are performing, achieving, and able to go on to college uh, or, or to a trade school, that's successful, and that's what parents want. Yeah, it's a very sad situation for the students. None of the students did anything wrong. I feel absolutely horrible for the uh, varsity soccer team and also for the football team. 
Uh, the football team, after they clinched the, uh, the playoffs, there was an email that was sent to the Michigan High School Athletic Association saying that we uh, had uh, some ineligible students on it. Uh, verified that in fact it was true. Uh, the athletic director resigned uh, immediately without it and, and the high school soccer team uh, moved on. Uh, they were about to play a uh, game in Farmington, at Farmington High School, a playoff game and the coach brought in a roster uh, to make sure that the names were spelled correctly. Went to the assistant principal, the assistant principal took the uh, took the list and, and based on, on you know what happened with the football team, sent it down to the counseling office to make sure there were not any ineligible players on that list. And sadly, uh, there was one player uh, that was academically ineligible. He didn't play very much. Uh, he only played about 10 minutes, but nevertheless, uh, we broke the rule, so we self-reported ourselves to the Michigan High School Athletic Association. Academics, honesty, integrity, and trust. We need to be able to make sure that the adults in charge uh, have the, the best intentions for the, for, for the students to be successful academically. Uh, I, I love sports, I'm a sports guy, but sports comes second, academics comes first. Honesty and hard academic uh, uh, achievement is what schools are all about. And if we can win a soccer championship, basketball championship, so much the better. But if we can have high SAT scores, then we are doing something. Then we're providing these, the, these young people with an opportunity to be successful in life. Mm -hmm.